Going on a surf trip is like being part of a ritual. A ritual that takes you out of your daily grind, out of that busy city life that takes you back to your roots. You pack and prep, drive off late at night to avoid chaos and congestion, just to get somewhere real and raw. Every minute that passes is a step back into nature. Just a 105 kilometer drive east of Metro Manila lies a rural paradise surrounded by mountains, waves, and waterfalls. Welcome to Real Quezon, the closest surf town to the capital. Despite its advantageous proximity to the city, Real maintains its rural charm. Not just nature rich, the food is fresh and plenty, and the people are pleasant, simple, and so sincere. There are no egos to contend with. Everyone was so helpful and welcoming. There's barely any signal, which can be a problem for most. But at a place like this, it's great to be disconnected and have conversations again, to really be present and to listen, free from all distractions. People should come here because it's very beautiful. I mean, everywhere you go naman in the Philippines, no, it's very beautiful. But here, where you go here, the reason is the people. Living here, I can say na masarap talaga. The locals, they are all very friendly, they are warm. City life and province life is, you know, totally different, right? And nung na-experience ko na siya after my sixth month, sabi ko kaya ko pala, even without internet, pwede pala. Malaki po talaga pinagbago. Simula nung nagka-surfing, kasi marami na yung mga turistang pumupunta rito. Then, nagawa na yung kalsada. May bago na tayong kalsada. Napasok na po itong lugar na to Dati kasi rap road to Mas parang sumisikat itong real surf kasi mas nakikilala. Real is known as a training ground for a lot of beginner surfers. It's got a friendly beach break with gentle left-handers, and it never gets too crowded. For most Manilenos, it's convenient to get to. At dati po kasi nagbabasketball ako before pa ako magano magsurf. Then natuto ako magsurf, mas minagusto ko na yung surf kasi na pag kasi pag nigraride po iba yung feeling na napakasarap po talaga. Tapos sa surfing wala kang kalaban, hindi ka masasaktan, depende na lang sa iyo. Sa pag-surf naman po, okay naman siya kasi hindi siya crowded, hindi katulad naman sa ibang lugar na masyadong crowded kaya Mas okay po siya, mas safe mag-surf. Yung surfing po kasi bukod sa napakasaya niya, sa ngayon, siya yung kinukunan ko ng hanap buhay, ginagawa na rin hanap buhay. Tapos masaya talaga, napakasaya. Bordering the Pacific, they say Rial is always working the same time Balear is, but with smaller waves. Perfect for those who want to practice getting more comfortable in the water. When you're in a new surf spot, it's always best to stick to the locals because where they stay is always where the waves will break best. Charlie, the surf instructor for Real Surf, was nice enough to tell me more about this spot. Like he'd say, hey, come stay here or don't stay there. You won't catch any waves there. So, you know, you just follow the guy and you just do what he does. Being out in the ocean for a surf session is always a lot of fun. I was stoked. When you're in a coastal city in the Philippines, the seafood is guaranteed fresh. Real's small roadside market is the place to be if you're looking for quality local eats. For the first meal, I checked out today's catch and had it cooked at the famous Neck Neck, an eatery that specializes in cooking fresh seafood. Being there strangely felt so familiar. It didn't take a while for Rizal to remind me that I already cooked there before. So I did again. This time around, I wanted to see how I could help back in the kitchen. The neck neck dishes would still be the star, but maybe I could make something complimentary. Ito pag nag-slice kayo ng baon, lagyan nyo ng asin kasi mas mabilis siya i-slice at mas malasa. Pag pinirito nyo, lasa, kwa na siya, timpla na siya. Ito ngayon, pwede nyo naman mabenta sa 500, di ba? <laughs> no? Sa mga taga Maynila. O oh, kasi special. Special yan. Sa'yo na to, yung recipe na to. <laughs> okay, mga kubiertos nyo ready na. Mga pinggan. Mga pinggan nyo, saan? 
Okay, itong, is, itong tilapia, gawin nyo, kanin, konting bawang, tilapia, konti, ensalada. Tapos, yung sabaw ng... Pag naubos nyo na to, ito naman at yung sigang. Huwag, huwag nyo ihalo. Ha? Para uh, mas concentrated. He made this adobo kusit that was so good. I think what we learned from him was that when it's reduced, it caramelizes and it's sweeter. Kaya mas intense yung lasa. So that's why it was very good. But there was also timing. Because when you overcook squid, it gets rubbery. So timing was good. Sari, the director, wanted to eat clams. So Mang Rizal said, let's just put water, ginger, salt, that's it, and let it reduce. And let the juices from the clams mix into the water. Simple and delicious. The three went together pretty well because we had two strong dishes and a subtle dish like the clam to balance it out. Tucked in a roadside neat hut in Barangay Tanawan is Tita Aba, a local who has been selling Quezon's merienda favorite since she was young. With a secret recipe passed on by her mother, she has dedicated her life to making the best suman in Real Quezon. Let's see how she does Good it. Good morning! Hello, Ate Aba. Hi. Hello, Chef. Ah, JP po. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. Salamat sa pag-imbita sa amin dito sa inyong tahanan at kusina. So ngayon, ano ang ginagawa natin? Uh, sa ngayon po ako ay nagsisimula magluto ng sumang kamotin kaon. Okay. Nagyayadyad. Yeah. Ito kasi sa aming province, tawag dito, nagyayadyad. Sa ibang provi sa ibang ano, gadgad ang tawag. Gadgad. Sa Rizal, gadgad. Mm. <laughs> Tapos ano yung pag uh, napansin ko, pag nag-grate ka may pulso. Slide lang, kasi lalaki yung hibla ng kamote pag, pag masyado mong hard yung diin niya. Ah, okay. Hanggang maubos. Okay. Tapos ah. meron, it, ang kamote kahoy, normal, na may sinulid sa gitna. Ah, ano yung sinulid? Ayan, ayan. Oh. Kasi ito, yung la, wala. Ah. May, may ano yan, ibuto. Mm. Ah, sinulid ba, sir? Ano yan eh, yan yung maliliit na hibla ng kahoy. Mm. At saka parang hindi na makain, ano? Hindi talaga dapat. Sinulid yan. <laughs> Ate, pwede mo mag-try? Pwede mo. Sab sabihin mo sa akin kung mali yung ginagawa ko. Ano gusto ko naman? Ay! <laughs> wow, yun ang gusto ko. Ay, yung pinapagalitan tayo. Okay, naghugas na po ako ko ng kamay. Okay, Try. Soft touch. Ah, soft touch. Dahan-dahan. Be sure na ito naka-up. Ah, naka -up. Baka maka maano ang eh, yung daliri. Oo, oh, maganda. Ah? Okay. Sige. Ganito, sure. Ganyan lang. Parang cheese. Ah, hindi, hindi diretso. Gilid. Diretso, diretso. Ah, diretso. Yan. Uf, kinakaban ako. <laughs> hindi ko alam Malaki. bakit. <laughs> hindi, baka kasi yung strict mo eh. So, may difference ba? Sa, oh, syempre naman, syempre. siguro may difference sa texture. Yung no? slight, kino siya. Smooth. Yung isa harder. Oh. Anong simula ko nito? 19, ah, 2000... I think 2004. Paano kayo na padpad sa paggagawa nito? Ah, noon pa. Maliit pa ako kasi marami kami. Oh. Ang nanay ko, tagaluto. Ako tagabinda. Ang sikreto niya, tinuro sa akin. Siyempre, hindi mo makwento yung sikreto ng nanay mo. Pero kung mabigyan mo lang kami ng hint, ano ang nagpapaiba sa suma ninyo? Siguro, hinahalo ang kuto ng pagmamahal. Yun. Kasi pag... Uh... Kasi sa tuwing nagluluto ako, pakiramdam ko, nanay ko nandyan na. Kahit 32 years na siyang mula. Kasama ko si Maring Nancy, Nancy Elie. Siya ay aking kinuhang helper para mag, magkayod ng alanganin ni Yog. Alam niyo ba alanganin? Yan. Yung medyo hilo-hilo pa. Medyo, medyo matigas na medyo buko. Basta sir, kailangan ko ang, ang ano helper. Mm. Nagtiwala ako sa kanya. Oh. Kailangan sa pagkakayod ng 
ang halangan ng Diyos ay dahan-dahan din para hindi makahaba ang outcome ng tayo. <laughs> Ah, ah, para pareho yung texture dyan at saka dito, no? Pagkatapos nyan, imimix lang yan dito, lahat ng ingredients. And then, irarap na sa banana leaf. So, unang proseso, hinalo mo yung kamote, grated kamote, uh-huh. and grated coconut. Okay. Tapos yung second, sugar uh, na. Yung sugar. Tapos, uh, siyempre, at the same time, yung secret ko. Oo, oh, yung secret mo. Kung bakit. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, yun lang. Pag uh, May... na uh, uh, halo-halo na siya. Be so, sure na lahat sila ay matamis na. O ngayon, binabalot na natin ang suman. Okay. Ilang kutsara? Dalawa puno. Dalawa. Depende sa sa scoop na gagawin mo. Okay. Sa so, ngayon, tapos na balutin. Lalagay na 45 to 1 hour. Luto na yan. Sure. O oh, ngayon sir, tapos na. Ano ang ating gagaw niya yan? Ngayon, tikman na natin. No, ito na ang outcome. So, mga kamotin ka. Yung tamis niya, tamang-tama na lang. At saka yung tamis niya, dito yata yung sekreto yun. No? Yung tamis niya medyo malalim eh. <laughs> Hindi siya yung ordinary yung asuka lang. Yan ang sekreto. Asuka niya, ordinary. Hindi, pero may isa pa eh. Yung, yung bango. Ayan. Ayan, no? Uh-uh. Pero ordinary asukal yan, ha? Mm. Nakita nyo naman. Nahuhuli ko yung... Oh, raw sugar ang gamit. Mm. Parang... Asin lang. Hindi sa, hindi sa pambubola. Pero ito yung mga suma na hindi mo malilimutan. Oo, uh-uh. hindi nila malimutan suma. Mm. The suman visit at Ate Abba's place was uh, pretty cool. That lady is... Uh, She is good in what she does, and she knows it, and she has the right to flaunt it, and she has the right to be siga. She is so OC in her kitchen. I mean, she goes, I go, hey, can I help? She goes, have you washed your hands? I go, it's a good sign, a good start. All right, let's go. And then, Kaleng, she's so meticulous. I go, look at this person. She does the same thing over and over, every single day. Five ingredients, ten steps, and she does it to perfection. And I, and, it's, and that's what we should strive for. Grabe. You don't meet someone like that on a daily basis. When you're looking for a place to stay in Quezon, Real Coast and Surf has the full package. It's relaxing and comfortable. You're instantly welcomed with smiles and warm Filipino hospitality. What started as a family beach house is now a decked out hotel and surf camp, surrounded by mountains and right in front of the beach. When I saw it, it's beautiful here. virgin forest, there's a ilog, there's a bundok, there's a I said, But we have no intention of building a business here because we have other businesses. Actually, nung binili ko to, wala pang ilaw, wala pang kalsada. You have to baba sa batis para makarating dito. But luckily, uh, after two years, nagka-ilaw. After three years, nagka-kalsada. At saka isa pa, nakita ko yung mga locals dito na nagkaroon sila ng business, yung mga anak ng mga nanditong naka mga anak-anak na walang trabaho nagkaroon ng trabaho so in in some other ways nakakatulong ako and pangako ko naman na talagang hindi lang para sa amin ito na kung ano yung aming magiging future dito at maging maswerte kami si swerte hindi sila we started here serial surf we uh, built the cabanas and stuff and then It developed into a hotel, which is the real coast, where we have three buildings now with the pool there. It was mainly for sharing the beauty of Real and also as a family business. Narin. And 
it's a way to give back to the people and give them jobs and opportunities as well. Uh, we make it a point that we are acting as if we are one family. Working with them, wala akong masabi kasi uh, lahat sila good followers, lahat sila malawak ang pag-iisip, and lahat sila ay may mga disposition na hindi sila gumagawa ng mga decision nila na hindi naaayon sa organization. Since Real Coast and Surf has taken good care of us for the past few days, I wanted to show them how grateful we were. The idea was to bring everyone together for a dinner feast under the big Talisay tree. It was a major production and everyone helped out. I wanted to impress them by using just produce I could find at the local market. With the help of Rio, one of my chefs from Sarsa, I knew we could come up with new standout dishes. Status is more than halfway there. We're finishing up. Rice is done. Lechon is being cooked. Lechon manok is being cooked. Fish is being cooked as we speak. Vegetable, grilled vegetables is being cooked as we speak. I'm finished with all my sauces. We are making two kinilaos, one shrimp, one blue marlin. So we're 75%. I just need to do one more salad. I want to make two salads. Once we get to 85, we're cruising all the way. This is inspiration from the Suman place where she was folding it. So since I can't do it in a banana leaf, I'll do it in a salad. The Suman concept is like there, the shape of the Suman. It's my interpretation of uh, what I saw this morning. Ito ay yung ating kinilaw. Ito ay kinilaw na blue marlin. Meron siyang red onions, kamatis, at chicharon sa taas. Tapos isang malaking kagat lang. Tapos ito yung ating shrimp. Yung shrimp naman ay sa ilalim ay may radish, carrots. Tapos yung ating shrimp, ginger, red onions. Tapos ganun ulit isang malaking kagat. So unahin nyo yung blue marlin, tapos second yung ating shrimp. Pag kumakain kayo, yung lasa, intindihin nyo. Kasi may mga layer-layer yan. Una, matikman nyo yung shrimp, tapos yung onions, ginger, tapos yun yung carrots. Tapos yung ating kain, hinay-hinay. Process. Ito yung tinatawag nating appetizer. Tapos, pagkatapos, meron tayong salad. Pagkatapos, Main course, pagkatapos yung naghihintay na baboy dyan, wow. bibiya. <laughs> yan, yan. Pero, pero para lang ma-activate kumbaga yung ating mga panglasa, ito yun. Wow. Okay? Enjoy! Salamat! Salamat. Alright. That's good, right? So for the main course, we made, of course, the lechon. Lechon manok with the garlic sauce, the vegetable skewers, the grilled talakito with mongo kangkong pesto. We cooked sort of like a sticky rice cooked in coconut water with Chinese chorizo, with chicharron, with butter. And then everything should be like my proceso. We're so used to just, you know, like go. We dive and we eat everything all in one go. But if we s slow down, and that's what Rial has taught everyone, to just slow down, step back, and appreciate nature and when you do that the more you appreciate your friends people around you and everything is just so simple and beautiful and it should be that way cooking for everyone tonight here at real coast under this tree is surreal it's a uh, it's almost perfect it's uh, sorry for the lack of a better word but uh, it's magical uh, you know under a tree beautiful setting, uh, it's, it's always what I wanted. I want to educate uh, my kababayans how to appreciate Filipino food more and I guess deep down I have this uh, mission to 
to elevate, to, to improve our very own. And, and why look elsewhere where it's just under your nose? And that's why I keep challenging myself that it should be, everything should just be sourced locally. In Manila, I cook for a living. People pay for our food. Here, they don't get to experience like what we have in the city. And to bring this to them is priceless. To let them experience this is priceless. This uh, real trip, uh, I think, was a very good immersion for everyone. We saw how people live so simply, but they're so happy. It's just so beautiful.